Hi, hi. How are you? Huh? Nobody. <clears throat> hi, Yupita. Hi, Miss. How are you today? I am fine, Miss. And you? I'm too. Ready, ready? Yes. We're going to make some time. We're going to give minutes for everybody to connect. And then we'll start. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, Rob. Hi, hi. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. I'm, I'm okay. Excellent. Nice to hear that. <clears throat> okay, vamos a ver. Se nos ha pegado la cocha. Right. We're giving one minute for everybody to, to connect. Maybe there was a lot of traffic, I would think. Okay, well, let's see if we're enough, we will start. Tell me present as you listen to your name, right? <coughs> oh, here we are. <coughs> Ninth today. Nines. Okay, we are well, okay, we're eleven now. Um Brian Alexander. Brian Alexander. Not here. Camilo Ernesto. Clarissa. Clarissa, no here. Daniel Eduardo. Present. Nice. David Alexander. David Alexander. Deborah Stephanie. Good evening, Miss. Hi. How are you? Hi, Miss. Thank you. That's nice. Deborah, no here. Elmer Antonio. Elmer, Elmer, no. Present, Miss. Ah, oh, ok. Espera, espera. Elmer, ¿verdad? Oh. No, aquí es Elmer. No, Elmer. Eric Gerardo. Present teacher, solamente que todavía no salgo del trabajo. Ah, vaya. Eric. Erika Joana. Present teacher. 
Guillermo Alberto. Guillermo Alberto. Isaías Santana. Present, Miss. Yvette Elvira. Present, teacher. Carla Vanessa. Carla Vanessa. Luis Enrique. Present, Miss. Manuel Antonio. Present, Miss. Luis. Reina Estela. Present, Miss. Y Rosibel. Present, teacher. Vanessa Victoria. Eh, present, Miss. Lupita. Present, Miss. Okay. Vaya, Vanessa, una observación. Eh, usted no se ponga oyente porque usted no es oyente. Oye, la que tiene que ponerse oyente es Lupita. A la parte de su nombre tiene que escribir la palabra oyente entre paréntesis. ¿Por qué, Miss? Porque es oyente. Está como oyente, es, es solamente un requisito, ¿verdad? Porque eh, como la agregaron después, eh, lo que yo he entendido allí es que como que al entregar, no sé, el proceso, los documentos van después de cierta fecha, eh, lo, la ponen como oyente, pero eso no le quita ningún derecho a nada, ¿verdad? Es solamente... Un, un proceso que ellos manejan. Entonces ahí usted se pone oyente, pero de ahí todo lo demás es normal. No significa que usted solo va a estar de oyente o que no va a participar de las cosas, sino que usted sigue igual. Yo ¿verdad? quiero saber si va, voy a aplicar con el módulo o no. Claro que sí. No sé. Sí, usted pasa el módulo, usted tiene que cumplir con la, con la asistencia, con la plataforma, avanza del módulo. Y en el otro nivel, eh, usted entrega los documentos a tiempo y ya no va siendo agregada como oyente. Eso es lo único. Pues no me mencionaron nada de que fuese oyente. Mm, no yo le digo por la, por donde me aparece en la lista, que me le han dejado con dos renglones de por medio. Y cuando me lo dejan así, es porque es oyente. Pero eso no le afecta a usted en lo absoluto, ¿verdad? Pues el proceso sigue igual, todo es normal. La única diferencia es que ellos no sé qué es lo que hacen ahí con eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, eso es lo único, pero a usted no le afecta ni, ni en cuestión de plataforma, ni en cuestión de avanzar con el curso, no le afecta nada. Eh, quiero ver, Vanessa. Ya me he mencionado, ¿verdad, teacher? Perdón. Hola. Sí, voy a volverlos okay. a llamar. De hecho, okay. ya terminé. <ríe> sí. Eh, Débora, hágame un favor, póngase el nombre completo. Solo le veo Débora Vidal. Vaya, vamos a ver. Brian, no guía, ¿verdad? Es el 2020. ¿Mm? Ay, Clarisa. Ya la voy a llamar otra vez, Clarisa. Oye. Ok. Vaya, Camilo, okay. no guía. Clarisa, sí. Eh, David Alexander. No. Débora, por ahí la veo. Débora. Aquí, teacher, solo estoy cambiando mi nombre. Va, ok. Elmer Antonio. Guillermo. Guillermo Alberto. Carla Vanessa. Muy bien, Carla. Va, ahí está. Solo estoy llamando los que no me Esa. habían dicho. Solo los que no me habían dicho presente al principio y ya. ¿Verdad? Ok. Bueno. Nice to see you. How are you? When I enter, hey, hello. How are you? Eso es mi padre. <laughs> ok. How are you? Tell me. How was your day? I'm Did great. Have, Did you have a nice day? Mm -hmm. Relaxing, relaxing at work, yes. Oh, so. 
So, so nice. We'll see. If you enjoy what you're doing, you can be happy wherever you are, even if you're working, right? Okay, well, uh, today we are going to be talking about the future. What are you going to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do after class? I'm going to sleep after class. What about you? What are you going to do after class? Uh -huh. I'm watch TV. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch TV. Okay. I'm going to go directly to the sofa to sleep in. I hope. <laughs> okay. Nice. Basha, vamos a ver. I'm going to share the presentation. This is our class number four. This is our class number four. By our panels, okay. Okay, and check what I was telling you before. Uh, how to use be going to, that's the topic, right? How to use be going to. We use be going to Mm, principally to talk about the future, right? And then uh, we are going to be talking about intentions. We're going to be talking about predictions when using uh, going to. And check that it says to be going to because it is always accompanied by the verb to be. Okay. <clears throat> and the objectives for today is participants will be able to use the going to in context in a conversation in groups in which some products are being shipped to their um, place. Okay? So that's what we are going to do. Sorry. Uh, so we're going to make a conversation, we're going to talk about going to, and we are going to be talking about chipping. So we're going to prepare also uh, uh, like the information that people put to the packages when they are chipped, right? Okay, well, just making a review. Remember yesterday we were talking about can for information and can for possibility. Yes. Can for information, can for possibility. Do you have any questions about that? Give me an example of using can for information. Mm -hmm. Where can I put the, the new product? Or where can I stack the new product? How can I do this activity, right? So you're asking for information. Remember we were saying yesterday, when we use or when we ask for an information question, when you're asking for information question, we uh, have to use these words, right? A double H word, because I'm asking for information. That when you use, like in this case, you can use can to ask for possibility, we are going to make a yes no question. Can I open the door? Is it possible that I open the door? Can I visit you? Can I put these computers in this room? So that is asking for possibility. Is it possible that I do this? Right? That's what you're asking in that case. Is it possible 
that I do this? Or is it okay what I'm doing? So you using can. Remember, when you use can as a possibility, uh, you can use it just like this, like that, just no question, not asking for information. I don't know if you have any question over there. Mm -hmm. Recording. Yes, yes, no question. But I have an exercise for you. Here, uh, this is putting into practice what we were talking about yesterday. So I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to work together and put the questions in or questions or sentences, right, in order. As you notice, no word is with capital letter because I don't want you to say like, ah, oh, that's the first word that I have to put. Mm -mm. All are in lowercase letter. So you have to decide what is the order that you need to put them, right? Vamos a ver. I'm going to send you in groups. And I'm going to share that here in the in the WhatsApp group. Let's see. I'm going to make big groups. You are 16. Yeah. I'm going to make four groups. That means four, four, and the last group, three. Okay. Watch. Yes, let me share with you. There you are. Let's go join the rooms and complete the sentences. Nice, nice. Going. Uh -huh. Try to join, try to join, try to join. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Eric Gerardo, Clarissa, Brian, try to join.
Clarisa. Clarisa. Clarisa, Clarisa, ahí le debió haber caído un telefonito que es el que le indica que debe unirse a un grupo. Vaya, la voy a mover, pero tiene que estar atenta ahora. Ya, ya, ya. Cheque, cheque, cheque. And she, and she play the call. Teacher, está the bien call. la primera que le hemos hecho. Can, can she play? Ese no es the el ejercicio play. que estamos trabajando. Ese lo hicimos ayer. Ajá. No, pero este estamos no era pues esto, como, como es en, ajá. Como ahí estamos trabajando no con es... la del... Les puse en el WhatsApp el que, el que van a hacer ahorita. Sí, ese es el que estamos haciendo, pero no, venimos a este para ver el orden de la pregunta, la ah, formulación okay. de la pregunta. Uh -huh. Por eso sí. le preguntaba que si el uno que, que le hemos hecho, de acuerdo al que usted nos mandó, la pusimos así, a ver si está bien. Can Uf. he play the trumpet? Can he play the trumpet? Yes. Uh -huh. sí. Ajá. Yes. Ah, pues esto okay. era, por eso solo es el ejemplo, nada más de. Ajá. The second sí. image can be white. ¿Cómo? Va, pero bueno, dale. The second can be white. Why emails? Email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can they write white emails? Can they write emails? Cabal. Mm -hmm. Y la otra, can I sí. watch TV? Vea. Yes, yes. Can I watch TV? Mm -hmm. La number can... four. Can the cat? Can the cat. Mm. Can the cat. Es como aquí no está ahí. Y es, no está ahí. Can, uh -huh. can the cat. Can the cat. Tree climb. No. Can the cat the tree climb. Can the cat. ¿Cómo sería esa escuchar así? Can... The Number four. four. The cat can, can... the tree Can the cat? Can the cat? Uh -huh. Can the, the cat? Time. The trick cream. Porque no comparten la pantalla donde les puse la, las palabras para verlo. Es que está en el WhatsApp y yo no lo tengo en mi computador. Can, can the cat? Can the cat? In the cat. Climb. Can the cat climb the tree? Can the cat climb the tree? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can the cat climb the tree? Okay. okay. Can the cat, Can the cat okay. climb the tree? Yes. And the cat. Can the cat. Climb. climb the pero the is it a question? Sí, vea. Ah, sí, porque todas van a ser questions. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Todas son questions. Sí, todas son questions. Solo que el climb no los traemos para atrás, vea. Can the cat the climb? Tree. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. porque, uh -huh. ajá. Porque es su verbo. Uh -huh. Y el de tree sería el complement. Complement. En the cat climb the tree. The number five. Uh, can your you. brother, brother, drop picture? Drop picture. 
Uh -huh. Can your brother draw a picture? You have picture, draw a picture. Uh -huh. Okay. Is the Ila say, Seria? Perame. Sí. Seria, can, can the parrot talk? Talk. Talk, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Sí. And when can you come? When? Can you come? Can no. When when you can come? Come on, no sé. When can you come? When aha? Uh -huh, when can you come? Como Don King Kong se oye. <laughs> <laughs> when can you come? When can you come? And the uh, number eight. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Teacher, can you uh, pronounce um, three? I don't know what is it. I I what I confuse. Oh, three, three, three. three. And the different with the number three, three, oh. three. Number three. Three. Okay. Number okay, Daniel. Three. And okay. the number eight. Va, solo nos falta la, la U, sin entonces. Ya volvió Lupita. Lupita y Guillermo no está. No, no ha, no ha participado, no lo he escuchado. Guillermo. Guillermo, Guillermo. Hi, teacher. Sorry que aún sigo en el trabajo, disculpe. Entonces estoy, pero, estoy escuchando, pero no pero, puedo como participar. Pero, pero si acuerdes el compromiso, ¿verdad? Y siempre se me queda calladito en todas las clases. Ya íbamos, Juan. Eh, fui al baño, mis. Vaya. Así que no sé cómo podemos hacer para que se nos active un poquito, Guillermo. Sí, teacher. Es que esta semana ha estado complicada. Pero ya, ya mañana... Sí me comprometo a, a participar más. Ahí okay. me va a disculpar. Bye. Lupita ya volvió. Sí. Ok. <ríe> Vaya, Lupita. Vaya, you can continue. Ok. A uh, la nueve, la diez. How can your sister sing so fast? Si no me ayuda, Lupita. How? ¿En cuál estamos? En la 10. En la 10. Eh, para mí sería How can sister sing so fast? ¿O no? How can your sister? How can your sister sing so fast? Fast? Oh. No. How can your sister so fast think, think so fast? Sí. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Qué rapera. <laughs> es think so fast. Think so fast. Sí. Ah, okay. How can your sister think so fast? Laura estaría mal. No sería where, bueno, que se llama where, where can. Urs. Es como que este, el pronombre de Urs. Porque, o sea, para mí, si, para, para mí sí si tenía sentido where can our friends have lunch. Have lunch. Así, sí, pero. Urs, pero... Eh, no es como el pronombre de tú o nosotros. Pero el have, ¿a dónde lo han metido ahí? El have ahí. antes de lunch. Ajá. Entonces sería, where can... Our friends. Our, our friends. Have, have lunch. lunch. Yes. Have Se, lunch. Uh, le llamo bastante lógica. 
¿Sí? Ajá. Porque el no, no. es como que el pronombre que estén usando de tú o nosotros, algo así, o vosotros. Sí, sí el or friend de la persona. Cuando el acabado. Y el pronombre friend. siempre va adelante del can. Sí. Vaya, sí. y entonces la 10 sería how can your sisters can how can your sister so fast sign this is the sign 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 so fast that's not sign that's sign uh Acuérdense que sign primero es la... Es el, el, el verbo. No. Es cantar, creo. Cuando decimos sign, primero es la G y después la N. Cuando decimos sí, es la N. Ah, es el sí, es cierto. Es como... Es cantar. ¿Cómo puede cantar tu hermana tan rápido? Algo así. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces sería, how can your sister sing so fast? Ajá, creo que por ahí. Okay. ¿no? How can your, your sister? sister? Sign. No, sería sing. Sing, sing. sing. este sing. Okay. Este no es sign, este sing. Sing. So fast, okay. no está firmando, sino que cantando. Está cantando. Ajá. Ok. Bueno, ahí lo que se la voy a compartir entonces a este ah. grupo porque solo a este grupo no va a caer ah, ahorita así como ah, yo, al, yo al, al whatsapp se lo voy a mandar le voy a dejar copia a los demás no. ah, individualmente se la voy a mandar a cada uno de ustedes por favor. ahorita ponerlo en el chat ahí puedes compartirlo ahorita en este grupo y solo nosotros nos va a caer Sí, lo que pasa es que estoy en dos dispositivos y en este, en el que estoy conectado, no tiene WhatsApp. Oh, no necesario WhatsApp si lo tenés en Zoom. Ajá, correcto. ¿Chat de Zoom? Ah, ¿cómo me lo puse? Pues sí, pero yo le, o sea, lo copié en el cuaderno y le he tomado la foto con mi teléfono. Al, vaya, te lo voy a mandar a vos, pues, viejito, y vos lo compartís, vaya. <risa> Uh -huh. Hola. Okay. Just let's wait for everybody to come back. And then we let's see, let's see. What's number one? What's number one? What's the order? Hi, hi. Can she pray the trump? Ah, uh -huh. it is my mom. Can she play the trumpet? Mm -hmm. What about number two? Can they write nice email? Can Can they write emails? Emails, we really can. Can they write emails? Number three. Can I watch TV? Can I watch TV? Nice. What about number four? Number four. Can the cat climb the tree? Can the cat climb the tree? 
Number five. Si ya se aseguraron de que han revisado bien esa carretera o que la han revisado bien. Number five. Can. Can your brother. Can your brother. Can your brother. Draw pictures. Draw pictures. Yes. Number six. Uh, can the parrot talk? Uh, in the parrot talk. Number seven. When can you come? When can you come? And remember always question mark, right? Because we are questions. <laughs> Number eight. What can we do? Oh, yes, what? Okay. What can we do? We do. We do. Yeah, what can we do? Number nine. Where? Where? Where can all? Where can? Can. All friends? Or our friends. Have lunch. Lunch. Have lunch. Porque el verbo es have lunch, no solo lunch, ¿verdad? And number 10. Oh, how can oh. your sister? Yes. How can sister? Your sister? Your sing sister. so fast. Sing so fast. So fast means tan rápido, right? How can your sister sing so fast? Okay. Any questions here? No question. No? Not to share. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Bye. Now let's talk about delivery services. What delivery services do we have in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Food. What delivery? Pedido ya. Pizza. Food. Pedido ya. Uh -huh. Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Superea. Ya no, no más hubo, ¿verdad? Hubo mandadito, se murió. What did you say, Carl? No. Superea. Superea. Like this? No, eh, unido. Superea. Where is it from, Carla? Eh, it's. Uh, In what eh. department? Es una app y venden de todo, food, abarrotes, ¿cómo se dice? <ríe> Diary eh, products. Ajá, Diary products, varias cosas. Pero ¿a dónde? Is ¿Aquí en el país? In all the country. Bueno, San Salvador estoy segura, no sé si en todo. Sí, aquí en Santa Tegra también. Oh, yes. ah, eh, San Salvador, zonas aledañas, supongo. That's the first time I hear about it. What about the, the, the transportation? Yeah, are not too expensive? Uh, yes, more yeah, taxi. And hacen muchos descuentos con eso. Tiran 30% de cuenta. Superior. Mm -hmm. Le están pegando duro. Ah, another one. Another delivery. Keep. ¿Mm? Keep. Keep. Okay. No. Eh. Como. I. P. Like this? Yes. That is in San Salvador too? Yes. Okay. 
That's another one that I didn't know. Uh -huh. Any other? Any other, any other? No more? Hmm? No more. No more, no more? No. <laughs> okay. Gosh. And then uh, we know that the restaurants uh, have some delivery, right? Some restaurants, for example, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, uh, Puyo Campero, Puyo Campesa, that they have their own delivery service, right? Okay. Now, uh, we're going, to, uh, we're talking about delivery services because later on, we are going to talk about uh, some shipping. Right, and when we do shipping, we are going to use. Oh, we have to identify with this um, because it appears well. They have indicated it for later on, but it's necessary that you see it here. So let's see. I want you to see this. When you ship something, now you know we can ship things from China, from Malaysia, right? Not just from the United States. Before we used to bring things from the United States. I remember the first thing I heard about shipping was with a. This is, uh, es, no, a bell when they were talking about, okay, so you have to pay the shipping. So that's- Propina. No, it's el flete. Impues, uh, el flete. Okay. Uh -huh. what, what you pay for the transportation of the product, wherever they are. So depending on the country, for example, Lebel comes from Colombia. So they charge to the to the to the women who sell a bell, they have to pay for shipping, right? For example, Avon, you know, comes from Guatemala, right? But they do not charge any shipping to, to the, the women who sell Avon. They just go get their boxes, so they even can get the boxes in their houses, but they, can, they don't have to pay any shipping. Uh, or like here that you mentioned, So here, for example, when you ask, when you call for something, pedidos, in pedidos, ya, you have to pay some delivery, something for the delivery service that they offer, right? It's not for free because if not, where will be the the, the purpose of making that? Yes, sir. Right? Uh -huh. And the shipping is only for ordering in, for eater or, or no? The shipping is basically when that transportation of something is coming from outside the country. Oh, okay. We call it shipping even uh, sometimes. It's, it's not that they are always going to come from by ship, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. they come by plane or they travel by plane, but yeah, anyway, uh, we call it shipping. So the shipping is the amount of money that you pay for the transportation of the product from the other country to El Salvador. For example, now uh, from China, you can order or bring things from China. They are, you know, there are many things that are very cheap in China. You can order them, you buy them, and they have uh, some, there are some stores, we can say, that sell, for example, with AliExpress, but they have, each, each store have their own way of shipping the product, but uh, some are free because their purpose is to sell, it doesn't matter where, Right, some of them are, are free, but some others you have to pay for the shipping. In some cases, it's, it's nothing, right? It's a dollar, it's 
90 cents, 59 cents, or something like that. Sometimes you have to pay $3, $4. But remember but that when they do that shipping, it's not like they are going to sell or send only your small box that you're buying. They send a big quantity of things, right? So that is where they recover what they didn't a charge when the shipping is free, right? Yeah, it, it depends on the month of something, right? Yes, yes, it depends on the amount of things that you are... Uh, Teacher, bringing. para decir arriba de is over than, for over. example, 50. Over. Mm -hmm. 50 dollars is free shipping, for example. Mm, no, no, they have no, not like a price. For example, sometimes you want to get like okay, 100. Uh, punchers, for example, un perforador, to give you an oh, example. Yeah, yeah. Then they send you some, in some stores, they have it like free shipping. Free shipping means you won't pay anything for the shipping, right? It's, it's free. But in some other stores, for example, if they use Kainao, is is one of the ways of shipping that they use that is free. But of course, you know that your product will not come next month. It will come in about 60, 70 days. That means that during that time, it's not like things from coming from China will take too long, right? But they are like making a collection of things that people are ordering. So when they send the package, it's an enormous package. It's not only your things, but they are sending many more things, right? That's why uh, if they charge shipping to some other things, like to more expensive or bigger things, probably some other small things will have no shipping. But it's not always, right? Some, thing, some things are really expensive. I remember I wanted to buy a bag, but right, that I saw, that I liked in AliExpress, but that was, the bag was about $12, so I said, like, wow, that's very cheap. When I went to see the shipping, because it appears right there immediately, that shipping was $45, and I said, like, mm -hmm. if I make numbers like 12 plus 45, that would be 57, and then I have to go to Correos, right? And in the post office, I will have to pay 250 more. Then I say it's like, no, no convenient, right? But there are some other products that where the shipping is very low, right? So that's for uh, getting things from outside. I don't know about bringing products from the United States. Probably they will charge you depending on the weight, right? How big or how heavy is the product, then they charge the shipping, but check. Anyway, wherever things come from, you have to, or they have to complete the following, right? They have to put, where the things come from uh, and the address from where the things are come from, are coming from, to whom? I'm checking. So I, where is the product getting to? So that's from where it is coming from and to where it's getting, right? So it is getting to El Salvador. In this case, it, the, 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 the place where they are receiving the product is Littoral Road number 34, La Union in Salvador, right? So that's the address where the product has to arrive. And then you have some other numbers like tracking numbers that are very necessary uh, for you to 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 follow your product check here is the tracking number it's the same number that appears here if you notice right it's the same number so 
If you have the tracking number with this track, the purpose of the tracking number is to know where is your product. Imagine, I am bringing um, a carpet from China. Yeah. Yo pedí una, una, una alfombra. Yeah, I algo forgot the word in Spanish. I, I asked for an alfombra that I saw, and I'm going to show it to you. Just let me. Rope. This is part because they are two. Right? Check. Can you see? No. Yeah, I saw. Una alfombra. It's a small, it's for my kitchen. My kitchen is, is black. So I said, e, that's perfect for my kitchen. With this tracking number, I could see when it got from China to Colombia. And when it moved from Colombia and it arrived to El Salvador, then I could see with this number when this small mat was in Correos El Salvador and when it was ready for me to go get it, right? So that's why the importance of this number that what happens if I don't have the number? I cannot follow where it is. Like when you get an Uber bike, that you share the, the, you share with your family the information so they can share, they can follow you where you, where is the Uber in that moment, right? So the same happens with the, with the tracking number. You can follow the track of the product and see where the product is. Yes. And then for every shipping uh, box, imagine this is a, what you paste on a box, right? Or what you paste in the, in the package. How many units do you have to find in the package, right? Quantity, 65 units. What is the number of the shipment? A call of the person who is sending the product, right? Remember, this is what number? Uh, it's the same number here. And then you have the date when it is supposed to get to you, right? When it is supposed to arrive. And after that, you have the the weight. How heavy is the package that you're going to get? Because probably when you get to Correos, right, to the post office, they will probably charge you depending on the on the weight of the product. So that's why you see all this information is very important when shipping a product. See? Todo lo Teacher, uh -huh. did you repeat about shipment and sender? The sender is the person who sends the product. This one. Oh. Pero como Pero... hay un gran montón de gente, oh. imagínese que cada quien tiene un código, digamos, o persona o empresa que lo envíe. Porque qué tal si usted dice el que lo envía se llama Pedro y cuántos Pedros hay en el mundo, right? Entonces, mejor cada quien con un código es más fácil de ubicar quién es la persona o la empresa que está enviando el producto. The tax descendant. Uh -huh. ¿Qué sería este mismo? Sería el código de alguien de acá, de quién. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué sucede? Si en el camino, de repente, usted se queda así. What is my product? I cannot try, I cannot follow the track. ¿Sí? O sea, no lo puedo ver dónde está, dónde está. Entonces, usted, a quien va a localizar es a, a este HB, 
no A, B, 6, 7, H. Esta es la persona que sabe, o al menos debería saber, where is lo que ¿Sí? Porque si usted solo busca comunicarse con Travers Inc., mándenos una foto, ¿verdad? cuéntenos quién es el que, con quién hizo el trato, quién es el que le está enviando su paquete. Usted lo sabe, porque cuando usted hace el pedido, digamos, usted paga para que le envíen las cosas, usted va a recibir toda esta información antes de que su producto llegue. ¿Ya? Entonces, who is in charge? Who should know this one? ¿Cuántos pedros trabajan en Travers in 23? Oh, como 20. Pero cada uno tiene su propio código. ¿Sí? In that way, it is easier to find him and say, hey, please, can you check where is my product? What happened to it? Because I cannot see it. Yes? And he will say, ah, okay, your product right now is in this place. Oh, mire, uy, su producto fue enviado de regreso a la empresa que lo había enviado. Y ya veremos qué pasa. Y se le va a reembolsar. El que está a cargo es él. Right? Any other question here? No more questions. Okay. By now check. Here we have some questions. What is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? How many units are in the package? And what is the manufacturing date? You can see again, see the, the, the information and try to answer right each of the questions and then we will check. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No questions. Teacher, about manufacturing date is when it's packed or o es hecho. The manufacturer, sí. Por ejemplo, si se fija y dice MF no sé qué. En la en el label. Y para y en el caso de de empacado sería package date o se dice de otra forma. Package. Package. That would be the package. Por ejemplo, imagínese que está pidiendo un producto que podría expirar. Entonces, necesita saber cuándo fue elaborado, no cuándo fue empacado. Para calcular eh, también la fecha en que le podría estar venciendo. And shipping address, we are going to put the address of the people who are sending the product. Okay, who are sending, I think, who are sending the products? This is my shipping address. Shipping address. And the mailing address is quien está recibiendo, right? That's the mailing address. Manufacture, manufacture. <laughs> Ahí está el manufacture. Date. Que dice manufacturing date. Así lo abre bien. Cuando eh, usted está, por ejemplo, cuando está tomando nota, algo que, que se que acostumbran. A mí no me gusta, yo me confundo, ¿verdad? Pero hay gente que así toma nota cuando están, este. Eh, en un audio rápido, por ejemplo, 
solo escribiendo las consonantes. Entonces, creo que es este B. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Uh, the number four. Uh -huh. The manufacturing, the M, the F, and the G. Mm -hmm. That's the manufacturing date. Mm -hmm. uh, the number one. Number one, what is the is shipping address? Is to a literal roll number 13. Four. Este sería el shipping. El shipping es este. ¿Quién envía? Ajá. Uh -huh. That's the shipping address. The one who sent you. And the mailing address is literal road. What's the mailing address? Literal road. Number 34, La Unión, El Santo. Yes. What is, uh, how many units are in the package? How many units? Uh, seria 65, I think. 65. 65, right? 65. And what is the manufacturing date? What's the manufacturing date? 12. Mm -hmm. hmm? 12, 4. December. April. December. April. Ajá. Bueno, como yes. ahí depende cómo pongo el formato. No se sabe si es diciembre o de abril. Mm, ¿Cómo está en inglés? Ah, uh, oh, pues diciembre. Sí. Como está en inglés sería diciembre. El 4 de diciembre. December. Si estuviera en español sería... Hey, hey, quiero ver. 12 de abril, ¿verdad? Abril. Uh -huh. Ajá. Pero en inglés sería December. December 4. Uh -huh. December 4. Por ejemplo, today, today is. So... <laughs> oh my God, ya no sé en qué me estoy. Vaya. Y una pregunta. March. ¿Quién tiene pregunta? Yo. Sí. Este, mis, eh, ¿por qué lo mismo me da en, en, si busco la palabra shipping en mailing o mailing, no sé cómo se dice, uh -huh. es lo mismo envío? Sí. Lo vamos a poner en Entiendo. shipping, ¿quién, en, ¿quién le está enviando a usted para que sepamos de Porque dónde, para que sería, de dónde viene? ¿Quién me envía a mí? Sí, ¿quién le está enviando a usted? Es from. Sí, porque cuando usted va a correos, le preguntan, ¿de dónde viene este paquete? ¿Qué trae? ¿Cuántas cosas trae? Más si le caen aduanas, ¿verdad? They are asking you for all the information from here. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's why Entonces, it, 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 eh, ¿quién le está mandando? Mm -hmm. eh, es el from, ¿no? Es el from, exacto. Y recibimos aquí en El, el Salvador, two. sería en two. email. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, el Sí. Ok. Exacto. And, uh, for example, uh, when, the, when you have to go to Aduana to, to pick up your, your package, they ask you, what is it? So you have to know. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're going to pick up. What is it? Last time I told them, ay, estas niñas los juguetes que andan pidiendo. Y me dijo, ¿Is it a toy? And I said, no, no. So they are very serious. Right? It's like, ajá, you cannot make a joke. You cannot say anything. Because they are there like, ah, is it a toy? She said. So like, no, it's not a toy. It was like a 
like a, a something to listen to music. But when I say the juguetitos que andan pidiendo, because if you talk about a cell phone, you say it's a toy, right? But for them, it's like, no, it's, is it a toy? <laughs> I say, no, it's not a toy. Like, okay. But that's why you have to know exactly what you're asking for, where your things come from, where is it coming from? Oh, from China. Okay. And they check. They check this address. And they tell you, huh? Yeah, it's true. How many, if they are some different things, right? In the package, how many things are there? So you have to know exactly how many they are. So all this information, it's very important, right? So you know. What is the product, where it comes from, how many units? Of course, the weight is like not something that you will know, right? But, but it is also reflected here because they may charge you more depending on the size and depending on the weight of the package. Okay. Any other question here? No? A ver, how do you say this date? This one. Hmm? How do you say this day? date? Date. Hello? What is this? Huh? She's staying in English. This is March. March 9th, March 9th, 2023. So you know that the years are divided in two, 2013, right? 2013, 2023, especially if they are before the, 20, the 2000, 1999. 1999, 1980, right? Divided into, <coughs> I cannot say 1,999. So you say 1999, 1980. When we get to the 2000, we have the possibility of using the two things. So you say 2022. 2013, no problem. But before the 2000, definitely no. You have to. You have to divide it in two parts, right? To say the, the year. If you're talking about a quantity, then no problem. For example, if you say, okay, quantity, how many units? 1,999 units. 1,980 units, pero sería para coming, if we're talking about units. But if we're talking about the year, it is extremely necessary that you divide it in two. Okay? Any question here? No? No, teacher, vamos. Vamos. Bye. Let's talk about the future. When do we use going to? When? Hmm? When? When, when, when? Can somebody okay. read? When do okay. we use going to? When? Maybe when you are sure to do something. Exactly. When you are very sure. Probably we cannot be 100% sure, right? But you're 99% sure. Then we use going to. So... We use going to 
when we have decided to do something. Imagine, I'm going to go to the mall tomorrow. So what am I going to do when I go to the mall? I'm going to go get a hamburger. Yeah, I'm going to buy a hamburger. So I decided that before I cross the street and go to the mall, I'm going to buy a hamburger. So I decided it before doing it, right? So when you have decided before, you use going to. If you took the decision right in the moment, you use well. Ah, you iba pasando por Wendy's. I say, hey, I would buy a hamburger for lunch. You took the decision before? No. You made the decision in that specific moment. Because you saw Wendy's, you saw mm, hamburgers. Mm, I will buy one. You took the decision in the moment. Then you use will. But if you made the decision, I will go to La Gran Villa, or I will go to Multiplaza, I will go to Plaza Merliot, and I will buy a hamburger in Wendy's. No, verdad, no decimos will. You say going to because you decided to do something before you did it. In that case, you say going to. I'm going to buy a hamburger from Wendy's. Lo decidí antes de ir a Wendy's. Casualidad porque pasé. Qué rico, güey. Me dieron ganas con. Okay. But I decided it before. Look at the example. Today, I'm going to try my numerous iPhone. Then I'm going to find my best friend. And finally, I'm going to read my favorite novel. I decided what I want to do, right? In another situation, when we use going to, the situation now make us believe that, for example, when we're making a prediction, this is like a prediction, right? A prediction based on something that I can see. So, but what I see make me believe that that's going to happen. Then you say, oh, look at the clouds. It's very dark, so it's going to rain. When you see the, the, the birds flying around like crazy, you say, ah, oh, it's going to rain. They are asking for water right? It's going to rain. So you see that the situation that you see around, what you listen can make you believe that that's going to happen. Then you make that prediction based on something that you see or that you hear. So you see a, a pregnant woman, you say, huh, she's going to have a baby. Some women make predictions like mm, her stomach is like this, so she's going to have a boy. Her stomach is like this, she's going to have a girl. Right, so those are predictions. But we make predictions with evidence. I'm basing on what I can see or in what I can hear to make that prediction. Any question here? No? No question. Si no preguntan, asumo que está claro, ¿verdad? Yes. Estamos allí, seguimos vivos. No. Ya no. Hola. Sí, está claro. Sí, seguimos allí. Yes. Okay. But check the sentence. Uh, another situation where I'm going to use going to is, for example, when I have intentions, right? Like the intentions you do at the beginning of the year. I know this year I'm going to save money. This year I'm going to lose weight. 
So I'm going to spend more time with my family this year. Uh, we can make a, our intentions or express our intentions at the beginning of the year. In, ja in January, right? The 1st of January, we start writing our intentions and we use going to for them, right? Look at the examples. Remember the structure is be going to, it is be going to because I'm always going to use um, be going to because I cannot say I going to play. No, I have to say I am going to play. So I have to use the verb to be. See? Be going to is the structure. Doesn't mean that I will say I be going to. No, you have to conjugate the verb to be, right? I am going to play handball. You are going to play handball. He's going to play. She's going to play. It is going to play. And we are going to play handball. Okay? So I'm using the verb to be conjugated according to the subject that I'm using. So you say, Maria and Anna are going to play handball. Joanna is going to play soccer. And Rosie is going to travel tomorrow. See? Then I'm going to conjugate the verb to be, depending on the subject, right? Now, in negative, I will use always the verb to be, and not. You can make a contraction and you can say, I'm, I'm not going to eat lunch. Yeah, I'm not going to eat lunch. You're not going to exercise today. <coughs> He's not going to run in the stadium. She's not going to cook dinner. It is not going to take a shower. We are not going to go to the beach this weekend. And you can say, you aren't going to exercise. He isn't going to run in the stadium. She isn't going to cook dinner. He isn't going to take a shower. We aren't going to go to the beach. So you can perfectly use it complete or with contraction. That's not a problem. Yeah. Any question here? No. Excuse me, Clarissa. No question. Okay, great. Now check this example. If we have the affirmative sentence, he is going to swim in the pool all day. If I want to make a question, what will happen is this. You switch the verb to be like a normal sentence that you make or a normal question that you make with the verb to be, right? So you switch the position of the verb to be. And the question will be, is he going to be, is he going to swim in the pool all day? Is she going to sleep early tonight? And to that, of course, you can give long answer or short answer, right? Is she going to sleep early tonight? Is she going to sleep? Recuerden que la estructura es going to, ¿verdad? Is she going to sleep early tonight? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Or if you want to give a long answer, you say she's going to sleep early tonight. She's very tired. Is she going to sleep early tonight? Yes, she's going to sleep early tonight. She's very tired. Or you can give a negative long answer. No, she isn't going to sleep early tonight. She has to finish up with it. Okay, so you can give short answers 
or you can give long answers, right? So you can give extra extra information. For example, here when you say no, she's not going to it. To sleep early tonight. She has to do homework. She has to finish the platform. She has to stay in the one on one session with the teacher. <laughs> so you can give like extra information about what the person is going to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that is talking about future, right? This is future. Check. We were saying, we were talking about going to when you have decided on what to do before you go to place. Uh, when making a prediction based on some evidence, uh, when using or talking about the future. And this is what I was telling you at the beginning. And when you have an intention. We use going to when we have the intention to do something before we speak. We have already made a decision before speaking, right? But especially um, before the beginning of something. Imagine uh, you are beginning a new course and you say, ah, no, this course, I'm going to complete the platform before the teacher reminds me that I have to do it intention this course i'm going to okay i'm going to get to attend every day this course i'm going to participate more this is an intention right and usually we make this intention before the beginning of something for example if you say well Mm, it's January. I'm going to send money this year. I'm going to travel this year because last year I didn't travel any, anything. This year I will go to the beach. No, it will say I'm going to go to the beach, right? This year I'm going to go to the beach at least three times. I have the intention. It will happen, who knows? But at least I have the intention at the beginning of the year. Like when you say, this year I'm going to lose weight. And at the end we finish with two pounds more. <laughs> or this year I'm going to send money. And at the end of the year, it doesn't happen. But we have the intention. Okay, look at the example. John has won the lottery. He says he's going to buy a porch. He has the intention. Will he buy the porch? Probably yes, probably not. We're not going to paint our bedroom tomorrow. Right? We are not going to do it. We don't have the intention to do it. Usually the intentions are affirmative, but it's okay. You can make it in negative. When are you going to go on holiday? Hmm. I'm going to go on holiday uh, beginning of April, right? Okay. And then talking again about predictions, we often use going to, to make a prediction about the future. Remember we said it is a prediction based on evidence. We're saying what we think will happen. Yeah, the sky is very black, it's going to snow, or it's going to rain. It's 8.30, we're going to miss you, you're going to miss your train. I crashed the company car, my boss is going to be very happy. Well, he's not going to be very happy. So I can make a prediction based on what? On evidence. See? What I see now tells me what's going to happen in the future. Okay? Now, before we go to that, I'm going to send you to the rooms 
because you're going to, yeah, so we're going to make a conversation check. You're going to create a chipping label. No lo hagan tan elaborado como el que estaba allí en el manual, ¿verdad? Un poco más simple para que no se aguante. Then, you are going to create a conversation when one of you asks for information about the chipping and the other is an agent. Mm -hmm. When is my package going to arrive, for example? Ah, it is going to arrive in a couple of days. It is going to arrive on March 17th. Yeah? How much am I going to pay? You're going to pay. Remember that we are using going to, verdad? So use going to in your conversation. Mm -hmm. Use going to in the conversation as you create it. So you can spend like okay, five minutes in the creation of the of the label. Y de ahí de ese label lo van a ocupar así como base para elaborar su conversation. Remember to use going to when you eh, ask your partner about the product that has been shipped, right? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Vámonos. Nos voy a, fíjense que lo voy a mandar en grupos porque si no, llego a la medianoche esperando que este video se convierta. Y lo mando aquel día, el único. Martes, no, que hice siete grupos y llegué a las once y media esperando que convirtiera el video y pasadas las doce esperando que subiera. Así que lo voy a mandar en grupos. Tengo grupos de tres y un grupo de cuatro. Oye, para que este... Uy, que me desapareció aquí. Bueno, tengo una pareja, porque alguien desapareció. Ok. Bye. I have a, a group of four and a pair of two groups of three. Ok. Let's, let's go. No sé si Victoria, Vanessa Victoria sigue de oyentes. Ya llegó. Eric. Sigue trabajando Eric. Y Brian, 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 hello. Bye. Ok, vámonos. Let's, we have 30 minutes. Well, no, because you will share it. Let's see, we have um, five minutes for making the label. No lo hagan tan elaborado, ¿verdad? And like uh, 10 minutes for the conversation, five minutes for practicing, and then the rest of the 10 minutes for sharing with the rest of the group. Let's go. Join, join, join. Try to join. Checking ahí el llamado. Ay, ay, Manuel. Hola, hola. Ah, por ahí está de buena. Va, ok. Pero no responde, no sé si está activa o está dormida. Quizás se ha ido al baño. Porque ahí está. Débora, hello, hello. Débora, Débora. Ah, va, ok. Va, ahí está Manuel buscando. 
Según lo que he entendido, vamos a hacer una. Una viñeta de. Sí, van a hacer una viñetita. Ahí vean de dónde viene su producto, hasta dónde va a llegar. Bueno. Podríamos hacerlo con los de Shane, no sé si le parece, Manuel. Sí, claro. Sí, sí, ya tengo la idea, démosla. Ajá, podría ser de Shane de Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. Está bien. Mm -hmm. From US California, por ejemplo. Creo que aquí tenemos el chat para nosotros. Podemos este, anotarlo ahí, lo que, la idea que Ajá, tiene. Exacto. Solo estén seguros de jalarlo uh, ahí antes de que yo cierre el grupo. Ok, ok, sí. miss. De jalar okay. Ponga ahí de, de dónde vendría. Este, la paginita esa no, no, no la podemos compartir o no está en el chat. Vaya, ah. from, ¿usted le tomó foto? Sí, pero no estoy ahorita, no puedo compartir. Ahí bueno, no, 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 en el manual está. ¿En qué página está? Este 20. 15. La 15. La 15. Sí. Vaya. Sería. Eh, vendor sería Chain USA. Right. Anótalo ahí en el, en el en el chat para tenerlo para tenerlo anotado. Y si compartimos un documento en Word y ahí lo hacemos. Ahorita voy a ver si puedo. Ya. El compañero que tenía yo bien fácil lo compartió. Sí. Ok. ¿Sí se ve? Ok, entonces en este caso vendor sería Chain uh, USA. Eh, una descripción uh, Silver Lake. No sé. ¿Es ok? Sí. Yes. Uh, como que en Estados Unidos siempre llevan su número de... Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. 5.23, pongamos. Eh, luego... Ah, ah, creo que acá a un costado lleva purchase. Purchase, no order, ¿verdad? Que sería el número de orden. Sí. Pero vamos a hacer la viñeta exactamente igual como está en el folleto. Eh, si no, si, así está en el proyecto, no, 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 así la tengo yo en la, en la oh no, es que estoy viendo la página 45 ya que <risa> ya me estoy bien ahí. mis, pero ese es, se parece oh no, esta es otra cosa ah, aquí está, es cierto, perdón entonces estoy ay. en este caso sería from acá, ¿verdad? en vez de vendor from Shane USA Silver Lake, California, NH 523. Su sería, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Para usted? Eh, sería aquí en mismo El Salvador lo pondremos. Ajá, una dirección, soy a Pango, ¿o dónde, ¿de dónde yes. es usted? Sí, yes, sí, póngala. Okay, soy Pango. Pango. Aguas calientes, no sé. <risa> How can I help you? Good morning, Rosibel. Bien. How can I help you? Ay. Ajá. Ya ahí sería. Good morning, Erika. I would like to. I would like. 
Va, porque, bueno, en mi caso empezaría eh, Erika. O Joana, como sea. El siguiente sería ya cuando yo le respondo sería Joaquín el Helpi. Joaquín el Helpi. Va, entonces ahí viene usted luego y me dice lo que, lo que quería. Erika. Uh -huh. Pero... Entonces aquí tendría, tenemos que empezar ya con el coins. Uh -huh. ah, por ejemplo, um, sería un reclamo, un pedido, un pedido. Uh -huh. Ajá, tendría que ser un pedido. O, este, o este sería como más que más, más que todo hablar de alguna marca porque tenemos que usar el going to. Uh -huh. Eh, pudiéramos poner I going to I going to buy a, a shoes I going to buy a shoes and and I want and I como que dice usted me diga o que me recomienda o que Can you recommend me recommend me some brand? Algunas marcas. Mm -hmm. Pues en español no cuesta traducirlo. ¿no? <laughs> mm -hmm. Como dijimos, I going to, verdad? I going I'm to. I going to. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to. To buy. I'm going to buy a shoes. A shoes. But, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Um, but I don't know. I'm no mark. I don't know. Sí, es como pero ¿cómo se, ¿cómo se lee? Eso es lo que no entiendo mucho. Going to. ¿O cómo se usa? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo traducirlo, digamos, al español? Es como decir, yo haré o yo iré. Voy a hacer. Voy, voy a hacer. Ok, gracias. Voy a ir. Voy a hacer. Okay. Eh, podemos poner Porque el diré sería mañana. como Will. Will. ¿Cómo? Este, este Ajá, es el pero futuro, el voy, ¿verdad? voy a ir. Ajá. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia, teacher, entre el point to, voy a hacer y will? Vaya, y en inglés la diferencia es que si usted ocupa going to es porque está seguro. Todo lo que les expliqué. Son casos cuando usted tiene que ocupar going to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y en el will es como una probabilidad. Ajá, exacto, y no es muy seguro. El will es eh, igual, voy a hacer, pero como algo improbable. Uh -huh. Como iría o haría. Esto. Como yo haría. Uh -huh. No, eso sería would. Ah. Yo iré. Yo, yo iré. Sí. Yo I, iré. I will eat. Ah, ok. Ok. Entonces sería... Eh, eh, Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are, where are you going? Ah, sí, sí, sí. No olviden el, el verbo. El, to be. el verbo to be, sí, uh -huh. cierto. Where are you going in, in the world tomorrow? Como, como, 
como qué vas a hacer mañana en tu trabajo. What are you going? I have um Así es, what sería what, porque estoy diciendo dónde. What do they keep? Uh -huh, okay. What are you going to the work tomorrow? Uh -huh. Podría ser. I am going to. Eh, para responder, te debo responder siempre con I am going to, ¿verdad? Sí, porque I'm estás hablando de, de uh -huh. como mañana. No hasta ahorita. I am going to wake up eh, early, ¿verdad? Sí. I am going to... ¿Cómo se dice eh, en caso que si yo quiero decirle que yo haré pruebas de nivel o exámenes de periodo? A period exams. I'm going to make... I'm I am going, going to make, to make period exams. Period exam. Period sí. exam. Yeah. I'm going to make period exams. Ya, tan pronto. <risa> Prueba de nivel y después examen de final, bueno, examen de periodo, cerrando el periodo. Ya. Doble Qué pronto. Sí, pobrecito. <risa> y after, after es después, ¿verdad? Yeah. Después. Yeah. Va, entonces podemos poner que vas a hacer esto after, eh, after. Sí. After Después the... calificar y si no, no me vengo a mi casa hasta que no califique. Ah, no. <laughs> Nada más como... You chiste. will sleep in the school. <laughs> Help me. Yeah, oh my God. So you will sleep in the school then. <clears throat> Para que, que no, sea tan, no sea tan pequeño. Ya vale uno de... Unos quince mil, quizás unos cinco cero cero cero. Cinco cero cero trescientos veintinueve, digamos. Aquí este tengo la dirección? dirección, este, no sé si Ajá. me oyen ya. Sí, sí. Dirección claro. de Avid Travel, este, dirección cincuenta y siete Avenida Sur. Cincuenta y siete eh, Avenida Sur. Avenida Sur, pasaje. Y pasaje, perdón, y pasaje olímpico 8. Olímpico 8, Ajá. San Salvador. Ellos dicen que a horas de a, abren, abren a las 8 de lunes a viernes, dice. Va, pero si quiere ahí, de, para que, para que uh -huh. sea así un poco más. Este, específico de más, no y más digamos que no sea de aquí del país podemos que dejarle 57 avenida sur y pasaje olímpico este ah. México Guatemala no sé ah le, le ponemos otro de, otro otro país, país ¿eh? digo yo para que se sienta un poquito más así para que se más afuera entonces Ajá, acá van. Se afuera del Centroamérica o aquí no aquí de puede ser Centroamérica ¿eh? otro país sí. acá Okay. Voy a ponerle el número 8. Ajá, 57 Avenida Sur, pasaje olímpico. Ajá. Número 8. Un departamento, digamos, de Guatemala, de México. Departamento. Oaxaca, México. Oaxaca, México, póngame. Oaxaca. Ajá. Yo Guatemala le digo. <risa> Oaxaca, México. Ajá, Oaxaca, nada que, nada que ver. <risa> vale, entonces queda ahí el, el, el from, Travel Velocity, Velocity 57 Avenida Sur y Pasaje Olímpico número 8. Oaxaca, número México. 8. Vale, el Chu, que sería Oaxaca. aquí donde se va a recibir, Primera Calle Poniente, número 10, Santa Ana, El Salvador. Sería? ¿Quién me dijo disculpe? Tú, eh, donde lo vamos a recibir. Ah, lo que, a lo que, que quien lo va a recibir. Ajá. Esa sería la dirección. Si gusta, me la repita, please. Sí. Primera calle poniente. Primera calle poniente. Ajá. Ah. Número 10. Poniente número 10. Santa Ana, El Salvador. 
Santa Ana. Esa es aquí, vean, San Salvador. Ajá, Santa Ana, El Salvador. Vaya. Ya. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Vaya. El tracking number. Sí. Sí. Le pusimos 5000, o sea, 500. 500. 5000. Tracking number. Tracking number. Ajá. ¿Cuánto le pusieron? Dice 5000. 5000. Uno por uno se le iba a deletear. Three, three, four, two, two, nine, <coughs> nine, three, two, nine, mm -hmm. two, nine, okay. And now, quantity, the unidad, quantity. De las unidades, no sé si las tienen o le averiguamos las cuantas unidades. No, ahorita, ahorita pongamos las cuantas unidades queremos. Ok. How many units do you want to buy? Mm, le ponemos 250. 250. 250. 250. 250. 250. 50. 50. 50. 50. 250. Mm. Esa sería la 250 es una unidad. ¿Cuántos? 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 Chip, chip name, chip name. El, el número de envío. Número de envío. ¿Ah? Try your number, este, el número de envío. Podríamos chipper, chipper numbers, ¿no sería? ¿Mm? No, chipper numbers. The chipping number. Chip me, chipping number. Chipper numbers, no chipper numbers. ¿Qué sería? ¿Cuánto le ponemos? Número de envío. Podemos combinar, podemos combinar números y letras, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, you can make a, a combination there. Uh -huh. um, a, B. A, B. A, B. For six. A, A, B, four, four, six, four, six, a ver, cuarenta y seis, Isaías, A, no, sí, hola, okay, no, no, mierda, no, aquí está, help, <risa> vaya, este, entonces el título sería A, B, cuatro, seis, A, B, four, six, A, 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 B, ajá, a, B, O, 4. 6. A, 4, 6. Terminado en 6, vea. 
cuatro seis a b cuatro seis a b a a b por sí a b por sí sí a b por sí a b cuatro seis ajá va este el, eh, veamos ahora el, entonces el sender sí Esa es combinación también, veo, vea, teacher, de letras con, con nombres. Yes. Yeah. Hey, ¿Cuál es el? What? El tracking Sender. number are only numbers. My address, manufacturing days, my factory. El mad factory? Tracking numbers? Números. El tracking number es only numbers. Tracking. Tracking number. Este ya lo hicimos. Solo numbers. Que no. Tracking solo number, número. que no era. Tracking number. El solo número. Sí, solo no. Eso ya es que no. Sí, ahorita vamos por el sender. Que sería el ah, remitente. Sí. Combine it with numbers. Combinado, ajá. Ajá, así como el hicimos el chip. ¿no? Hay letras y números. Sí, combinación. Yeah. Ajá, combinación. Ajá. A Isaías le dije que lo cree. Que nos ayude. Isaías. Hello. Hola. Sí, eh, eh, sí. Encender. Uh, Ahorita, Isaías. AC. AC. Uh, AC. 20. 20. Oh. 20. 20. 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 Ah, okay. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Va, la fecha como, como es, no es la fecha de, pongamos de, de hoy, quizás. Puede ser, ajá, fecha de ahora, y así normal. Uh -huh. no hay, ¿Tiene que decir March 9, 2023. March 23. ¿Así vea? ¿O me corrige? March 23. Uh -huh. March 23. March 9, March March 9 March 9 March 9 20, March 9 March 9 March 9 March 9 ese sería lo de la fecha, va, date. Sí. Lo que estábamos diciendo. En date, Ma sí. Ok. Nine, nine, sí. March, 2023. Sí. March 9, 20, 23. Siempre se pone así primero el, el mes. Sí, siempre. Ah, primero okay. el, este es el mes, ¿verdad? Sí. Me corrigen. Sí, primero el mes. Sí, primero el mes. March 9, 2023. Pero March eso es 9. cuando estemos para las personas que están en, allá en, en, para lo de inglés, o sea, para países así que están recién solo inglés, esa fecha. Eh, en orden, ajá. sí. 
Ajá. O me corrige. Ajá, ah, ese era, sí. ajá, por eso le decía que, porque nosotros nuestro envío es de aquí de Centroamérica. Sí, Tendría pero que como ser el envío estamos de hablando en ajá. inglés. Como estamos hablando ah, en inglés, okay. la fecha la va a decir en inglés. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí, March 9, 2023. Ok. Vaya, ¿peso cuánto peso le ponemos? Son 250 peso? unidades. Neto, peso neto, neto. White, uh -huh. white. 150. Por todo. Digo yo, 150. Ese sería one. Pesaría. No. 150. Un poquito. Ah. Five, Porque son. Así. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. 150. LB. Pounds. 100, LB. Pounds. 100, LB. And you LB. say 150, ¿verdad? Eh, pounds. A la hora de decirlo, vamos a decir pounds. 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 150 pounds. Pounds. Mm -hmm. Pounds. Ok, vaya, me lo voy a llevar. Ya. Yeah. Yes. Permítame, ¿algo otra cosa? ¿Qué nos queda? Okay, let's see, let's see, just wait for everybody to come, and then we will listen to a couple of you sharing. ¿Se han quedado perdidos? Okay. 17 seconds. Sí, ¿quién me queda perdido por allá? Ya, ok. Nice, nice. Vaya, checking. Who will be my volunteer to share the conversation? Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Mimis. Ok, Lupita. Who? Con Reina. De, with Reina, right? Ok. Tell me, Reina. Hi. Hi, <laughs> um, hi, Reina. How are you? Hi. Um, fine. Thank you. What are no. you going to work at tomorrow? I'm going to make a period exam. After going to mark exam, uh, I'm going to back home. You're going to pass today. Yes, die tired. Okay, very good. Thank you. So you're going to have a very busy day, Reina Estela. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see. One more volunteer. Volunteer, victim. Victim, Manuel. <laughs> Manuel, así como que porque yo teacher. Eh, Manuel, Carla, Vanessa, Eric y Débora, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Vaya, démosle quickly antes de que nos vayamos a la tienda. Who begins? 
Uh, Miss, uh, we did the same structure from the from the the page number fifteen. Okay. We didn't we didn't do a, a conversation. You didn't finish. You didn't do the conversation. Only the only the the structure. The chipping. Yes. Only yes. the chipping. Only the, uh, the, the chipping is from you. Is from Chain USA, Silver Lake, California, uh -huh. and to Aguas Calientes, Oyapango, El Salvador. Okay. Uh -huh. And the tracking number uh, is 0009999. Um, nine, nine. nine, nine, nine. And the, quant the quantity is 75 units, and the treatment is DS040. And the sender is CH007. And the manufacture date is April 5, 2023. And the net weight is 85 kilo. I don't know how do you say kilograms. 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 Yes, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice, nice. Thank you, Deborah. Bueno, it's time to go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. A ver, Brian Alexander. Brian. Brian, Brian. Alguien vio por allí a Brian. Brian. Okay. Eh, Camilo, no, ¿verdad? Clarissa. Ok. Present, Clarissa. Sí, teacher. Present, teacher. Present. Daniel Eduardo. Daniel, present. David Alexander. David Alexander. Hello. Sleep. Y estuvo por allí. ¿Alguien lo vio? No. I was talking with Daniel. No. With Daniel. No with David, ¿verdad? No. No, no. Okay. Eh, Débora, present. Elmer Antonio. <ríe> yo, yo contesto porque ustedes no me dicen present. Eric. 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 Present. Okay. Erika. Present, teacher. Elmer. Elmer no, ¿verdad? No. Guillermo Alberto. ¿Alguien vio a Guillermo Alberto? No, solo es la primera vez que nos lo vimos. ¿Mm? Ni sabemos quién es. Saber quién es, ¿verdad? Bien, se ha estado, pero hoy no está. Un día, y un medio rato. Va, aquí. Isaías Santana. Gracias. Eh, Present, teacher. Carla Vanessa. Present. Luis Enrique. Mandó en el grupo que lo había sacado de la plataforma. Y algo le pasó de repente. Manuel Preso. A mí también me sacó. Está de mala suma ahora, pues acá. ¿no? Uh -huh. eh, Reina Estela. Present, teacher. Rosibel. Vanessa Victoria. Present, Miss. Present, Miss. Y Lupita. Present, Miss. Ok, very good. Bueno, hoy se queda tu amigo Daniel. Have a nice day. Bueno, a nice night. See you, see you. Bye, Miss. Bye, Miss. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. See you later. See you, see you. <laughs>
Take care. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Quedó atrapada, Rosy. No puedo salir, me <risa> Ya vio que siempre me quedo atrapada. Me quedo atrapada. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Bye, teacher. Bye.